up everybody, Knox here. Not sure whether you're going to get this one or not, but I got some thoughts. I thought I might try to get them down, get them recorded. So I'm out here doing what I call man work. And all it is banging these nails out of this wood so that the people can come and collect the refuse won't get uh says if you can't change a tire or you can't fix a car or something like that, shave off your beard. <laughs> As if growing a beard and looking manly had anything to do with, you know, fixing cars and stuff like that. What, what happened was the uh, shave your beard was crossed off and something about gender identity or something like that was put on there ins instead. And on the one hand, I can understand the one point, but I can also understand the other point being a man of a certain age. And being a man of a certain age, there's a little different definition to what being a man is. Back in the day, men fixed stuff. Men built stuff. Um, boys didn't learn how to be men back in the day. Boys were shown how to be men by example. And somewhere in the last 40, 50 years, probably 60 years, since World War II, everything seems to go back to World War II. Let's say in the last 70 some years, those paradigms have changed. Everybody I know knows how to change spark plugs in the car, knows how to change the tire, you put air in the car, check the pressure gauge, stuff like that. Well, not everybody I know, but the cats I grew up with. Cats I served with in the military, of course I was a mechanic, so. <laughs> of course. But now that everything has become computerized and digital, boys today don't really have to have to know that, you know? So, download something or you take it to somebody who downloads something or diagnose or diag diagnosis some problem etc 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 so a lot of people especially a lot of people in let's say developed we call them first world cities they don't even work with their hands they don't know how to work with their hands and they don't have to work with their hands because you know other people are working with the hands. There you go, more sounds from the hood. Anyway,
This is what I'm thinking about as I'm banging these nails out of here. At some point during my travels, I'm going to go back to working with my hands. Whether it's, I don't know, changing tires or spark plugs and tractors on farms or learning how to bang nails into a tiny home or something like that, a tiny house. But I kind of miss it. It's, it's part of my personal definition and my personal history and just say my personal preference of what being a man is. And that's the thought for the moment. Peace. Mm-hmm.